My name is Kelly Gravel. I go by the artist name Risk, and we're here to talk about uh, Beautiful Destruction and how it came to be and, and what it uh, means to me. And what it means to me is uh, I'm trying to evoke emotion with color. And I actually, uh, you know, tried this in, in Miami. I was at a Skid Row type place painting, and it was a very bad place, and I was painting this building, and they had these guys down below, and it was very violent and hostile. A guy actually got killed uh, while we were painting. And they didn't want me there. And they were like, to get out of here, this, that, and this, that. And I finished the mural. And by the time I finished the mural, they had totally changed their perspective. And they took pride in the area. They cleaned it up. They were singing. They were happy. They had like little camps. And they were thanking me for painting it. So I was like, OK, this really does work, evoking motion and color. So that was my mission. So all my public art now is evoking motion and color, these big color washes. People ask me, how did you come about these color washes? It's great that you evoke emotion, but what made you think of that? And I said, well, what made you think of that is someone asked me one time, all right, man, you write Risk. You wrote it a million times. We see it. What do you have to say? And I was like, hmm, what do I have to say? And that's when I started thinking, well, I don't really want to say anything. I'm not a political artist. I'm not an illustrative artist. I'm, I'm an abstract artist that likes to evoke emotion and color. So I started thinking about what would mean the most happy in my life and the most satisfying moments of my life as an artist. It was the next day driving down the freeway at you know, 70 miles an hour seeing the piece I did that night. And I realized the average person can't really read that piece. So they just see that color wash and they get amped on those colors. So I wanted to evoke the same emotion without doing letters or characters. So that's how it started. I have an unorthodox way I go about things and I start things very rough and abstract and I tighten them up. You know, I'm of the belief that you can't do anything wrong with art, you just keep going until it's finished. And sometimes stuff starts out terrible and ends up good. And it's the same with my abstract pieces, I start getting lost. And the piece takes on a personality of its own. And this piece is mean, this piece is crazy, this piece is this, this piece is that. And it's just that energy and, and movement. You know, I try to get movement and texture and you know, creating texture. Sometimes I gotta splash something on the piece. Sometimes I gotta put lacquer thinner on a piece and take stuff away from the piece. Sometimes you gotta strip down a piece to you know, make it more raw. You know, I'll give you a good example. Dennis Hopper said, when are you gonna get tight and paint loose? And I spent years developing this graffiti style that looked like a sticker or a sign. It was so perfect. But I realized it wasn't quite organic enough. And he said that, so I let the drips go and I added more drips and I made it more sloppy. And my paintings got so much better. You know, when I get in this box and start painting, you know, in this world, it's like, get loose, you know? I think the great thing about taking art from the streets and these public murals, you know, you could do prints and people could take a piece of that artwork home with them. So they get a piece of that and that's fine, that's great. But there's another sense that they get to take from your art that's not physical and it's a feeling. You know, when you do these murals and it's uplifting and people get to see it and they feel good, you're not just making a one-time impression. You're changing something. You're letting them take away something. Like even people watching this, you know, they're going to see this thing and they're going to say, I never really thought it was like that. Maybe they're going to get a feeling from this that's going to inspire them to go out and be creative. People take away stuff from it. And that's the beauty of it. I get people constantly, all day long, tell me stuff. I've had people tell me that, you know, they were very down and out and getting ready to do some very bad things and they looked out and they saw my piece and it's uplifting and they make sure they look at it every morning from this certain window and it's really inspired them and helped their life. Stuff like that to me is tremendous that you can affect somebody that way. That's just the most fulfilling thing I can think of as an artist. If I can influence one person in a positive way and they take something from this and do something positive, I've done my job. You know, I know it's a cliche, but it's real. Like when I go to kids' schools and I speak with 30 kids or whatever it is, and if just one of them changes their life, like I changed my life with graffiti, then I've done my job.